Alright boys, in today's video, we are going to be playing Tort Tower Defense, and I do have a new loadout. Now, I am using the Santa the speaker repair, I'm also using the Sinister TV, and, you know, the uh, upgrade time Cinema Man, and also Green Laser as a starter unit, but, yeah, I'm just going to see how far this can actually get me. Now, if you guys know, they actually did reset the Endless Leaderboard. And, you know, like last time, people were getting up in the 150s. But now, it's literally only at the 90s. And for that, that's because they made it every wave or every boss of OAK every 10 waves. They make it 2% harder. I personally think it's every wave they make it 2% harder. But, yeah, we're, we're just going to see how far this loadout can get. This will be my first try. So, you know, we may may mess something up, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna go and see if we can do this. All right, my my units literally did not load. Okay, there we go. Go and get myself a Santa. Then I'm probably gonna be placing my uh, green laser up in here, you know, because it's obviously a good spot for it. But yeah, Santa, Santa's a primary unit you know, for this, or else you're literally gonna get nowhere. Because Santa. Without Santa, you would probably have zero defense. Anyways, go and get a green laser right around this area. And yeah, he's going to be defending for us all the time. So he's he's going to be our starter unit. This is the starter unit that I used last time. And I thought it was actually uh, probably pretty good. So yeah, this guy is this going to be handling it all. We're just getting more Santas. Alright, so we got all of our Santas here. Do we got one at level 2? Yeah, we're on wave 4, so... If I am right about this, technically... The next wave, this should be like 10% harder. But yeah, that, that's really why people aren't getting anywhere. And you can see, like, I remember... I uh, got to the first, like, little frost... Frost boss from the uh, North Pole in the Christmas event... He had like 10 million more HP than than he used to have. So yeah, I mean 10 million HP is a huge difference. I'll just say the least. But yeah, we do got all of our Santas. Probably gonna upgrade uh, my green laser here a little bit. Okay, we got our first boss, Mr. Large Glasses Toilet. I have literally zero doubts that this will even get past you know i can even skip and upgrade this and yeah our first green laser it probably won't even reach this corner and it actually it won't even reach this corner yeah in this little span it couldn't even reach this corner and add 15,000 hp that that just proves how good a uh, green laser is you know you can slow it's really cheap and it is a, a very good star unit. I will admit, there may be a better star unit, but... I haven't really tested anything out except for the, uh, green laser, so that... That's one I find best, and it's literally killing everything. It may get stunned sometimes, but... It's alright, because we got two of them. Alright, I got all my farms level 6. This green laser is finally getting in some action, but yeah, once... Once I get my farms to... Level 6, I probably max out my green laser, because, you know, at wave 13, they finally got past, and if I get my green laser up two more levels, probably won't get past until maybe, like, wave 25, I'm just going to assume, but yeah. Once you get your farms a pretty good level, you can start the max them out, and it'll probably only take, like, one or two waves, and then you'll just have a max green laser, and you still have the green laser in the back for you know, back up, or just to max it out whenever you want. So yeah, it's absolutely destroying these minigun torts. These dual claws does stun them, but, you know, when they go around, the cooldown still isn't up, so... Won't be able to stun again, but yeah. Does get stunned a little by the dual claw, and I think some people... Some people will freak out about that. So we're just going to max it here. Now, and now we probably won't have, like, any problems for a good while. And, 
know, once once we have that maxed out, we could probably just max out our farms. No trouble at all. All right, I just got all my Santas to level seven. Probably going to get my uh, second green laser max, you know, just just be on the safe side because you don't want to just the rush pass and then you got to skip and you know, then you can max out your green laser, but then you would have a, another wave full of enemies. So I think I think it's just better to uh, max this out before before anything gets uh, really crazy. So yeah, two max green lasers, wave 19, we... We have literally had no troubles. The farthest that uh, they have ever gone is like almost to uh, this corner, but we didn't even have any max green lasers, so. Okay, we got Mutant Tort 2.0, wave 20, 180k HP, but this guy, this guy's about to get decimated. I mean, just, just look at it. All right, like one second, 90%. And he is getting slowed, so it won't even be anywhere. And that's already 70k down the drain. Yeah, a green laser absolutely melts. It's very cheap. And if you got, like, two max green lasers, you can just, you know, like, farm. No. No problem. I mean, you, you just saw how fast he melted that. Imagine 15 green lasers versus, like, that turkey boss from a turkey town. It probably would still kill it. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, wave 22. We are having some problems, but that is only because our green laser has just been getting stun abused. Like, literally. We got a lot of dual claws, but I bet if there was less dual claws, they wouldn't even have made it past our first green laser. But yeah, I think, I think this is where we start getting our defense as we do have our... Our max sinister TV, so I'm just going to get a sinister TV now. I have never tried this, so I don't know if it'll be good or not, but I'm just going to, you know, place right here. I know sinister TV can slow, and with the green laser, it's probably going to be slowing. Insane. We also got a TNT toilet. I guess I can just bait that with the uh, repair. And I forgot rare players can't even get stunned. The snowballs do have good splash and pretty good damage, so I think Sinister TV might be a pretty good, uh, pretty good unit for this. So we already got to level three. It's doing, doing, uh, pretty good damage, you know, like. Pair with the splash, it's going to be very good when we max it out, because Sinister TV has 60k DPS. With Splash and also has a set that does like 100k damage. So yeah, I think I think Sinister TV is going to be one of the best units to pair with Old Godly since Old Godly also has AOE and the best. Okay, yeah, we are on wave 30, the boss wave. After we kill these mantles, I think we will be able to max out. Okay, Flying Dual Buzzsaw, 700k. I am not even worried about this. To be fair, I am not even worried about this. I mean, the moon toilets, they don't matter either. But yeah, we, we're we already destroying them. I'm going to skip, max it out. There we go, just just because I can. But yeah, it's already, it's already dead. It is literally already dead. And that only took like 8 seconds from here to here. That was 800k DPS. Got our first, first max out sensor. I think I'm going to probably get an old godly. Just just so we can, you know, get a mix. And also have some uh, good DPS up here at the front. Just so it can uh, get dwindled down. But yeah, that that is really good damage from the sensor TV I am in. And I only fought this literally yesterday. Because I honestly fought old guys the uh, best unit for this, which I honestly think it is. But pair it with, like, Sinister TV with good splash, you know. Also has AoE. And it's 100k scythe, I think. I think this may be able to get us close or on the leaderboards, matter of fact. Alright, so I am here on my uh, alt account on Microsoft. Uh, Ro Roblox, so... If I get on, if I get to wave 81 and beat it, I will literally be at 61. And imagine, for example, I get to 85, now bringing us to literally 
18. So to get in the top 10, you have to be wave 89. And, you know, there's only eight waves apart. And that's like 70 spots. So, yeah, if I get to like 84, I will be pretty on the leaderboard right now. And right now we're already on 40, basically auto skipping. You know, I'm not, I don't have it on, which I just turned it on, but I'm basically skipping every time I can, really. All right, we are on wave 42 and endless. We got our Max Sinister TV, Max Old Godly. We also got a Max Speaker pair, some green lasers, and we did just beat wave 40 and 41. Now my my recordings kind of froze, so. I don't know if I will even be able to get that footage back, but yeah, right right now we are uh, we are at wave 43, and my loadout speaker pair, green laser, Santa, sinister TV, and old godly. So yeah, right now, right now we are uh, doing doing very good. At right, wave 50 here, I do got my old golly to level six. You know, it does cost an absurd amount. Okay, giant smooth toys. So, my theory was actually wrong. I completely forgot about the nightmare boss. I'm I'm sorry, Michael Michael Jackson toilet. Did not mean to hurt your feelings. But yeah, he has 7 million HP. I remember last time, he'll probably only be at like 3.5, maybe 4 million. So, he has almost 3 million extra HP from what I remember. And... Right now he is kind of getting destroyed, just to say the least. He's already at like 75%. See, so yeah, right, right now we are we are destroying this boy, and he he hasn't gone for like half the map. You know, I I can honestly probably skip, and we could probably just beat this easy. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Okay, and now everything is focused. And he is getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, pairing it with all the damage from Sinister TV, old guys, and the 100k damage from the Scythe, this is like 500k DPS right here. And imagine when we get, when we get all of our old godlies and Sinister TVs. That is going to be doing insane damages. Yeah, I mean, th that, that was easy. I don't think we should even be worrying. I mean, probably on the pumpkin boss at wave 80, we probably should be worrying. But you know, I don't. I don't think we will even have to wait for a good bit of time. Well, so I was wrong about him being at 15 million, but in a span of 10 waves, he got 6 million more HP. So that just shows you. That the 2% every wave is real, because technically it should be 120% harder every wave if we beat this wave. And also, we, we have a ton of forklifts just, like, in each other right now, right there. So, yeah, we got this boy. He is about to be getting focus once once all of these giant blind toads die, which they will hear pretty soon. But, yeah, just with the AoE and the snowballs... He is already down 20%. That is super in Okay. Frost Skeleton Tool is getting bagged right now. He is at 3 million. 2.5. Yeah, he, he is dying quick. I'm just going to skip there. So we, we are actually getting very close to leaderboards. Keep in mind, we do have to go for the turkey and the... And the little pumpkin boss, which is the hardest boss that has actually been in the game, and yeah, so we will be fighting that. Majority of uh, toilets are dead. Got these skeleton toilets actually getting pretty far, but they are on the verge of dying, and they do go actually very fast, even with the uh, green laser on them. So yeah, all of these skeleton toilets are. D E A D. And now we have a ton of boss tools. We have like 30 of these guys. This this is like supposed to be a money wave or something, cause like all all there is is literal bosses. I feel I feel like this wave was just meant for money, cause we have a 4.0, you know, got some 3.0s, good bit of 
normal bosses and 2.0s, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're all weak. They give us a ton of money, so I don't think this wave is really anything. I think they're just being kind to us and trying to give us a good amount of money because I got it to literally level 4 and 5 with uh, this wave. Okay, we have a lot of small scientists and their big fodder scientists, so now we, we got the baby scientist and the big boy here. Yeah, this is literally 10 scientist twats. They, they won't be giving us a good bit of money, but, you know, at least they're here for the party. Scientist twats just getting left alone. All, all the other twats just left them, and he's just chilling. He only got one green laser on him. Yeah, he, he has no worries in the world. Until these guys die, which all of them just died. So yeah, now, now he has a care in the world, and that is literally getting to our base. We're on wave 69, so we we are literally one wave away from the uh, Mr. Turkey Man here. And we are actually doing good for ourselves. Like, we, we only need to beat 80, and we will land ourselves on the leaderboard. So I, I'm actually pretty confident about this. We have uh, gone, uh, gone a long ways, you know. It obviously, it, this obviously takes a lo lot of time, which is pretty obvious. But yeah, we only need to beat our turkey man, the, uh, the pumpkin patch boss, and then some more ways, and we'll be up in the top 50. But if we beat that pumpkin patch boss, we land ourselves a spot on that juicy leaderboard for gems, which... I honestly think the top five should get a unit, because 2,000 gems doesn't really seem worth it. I'm going to be completely honest. Does not seem worth it. But yeah, we got Toxic Mewing Toads here. I think these guys are going to be the first to uh, fall, as their numbers are going down drastically, and already one of them died. Chaos Upgrade Earl Godly, Wave 70. Mr. Turkey Man, we got a lot of UFOs, ton of giant blind toilets, we got the Wave 48, 49, and 47 on Nightmare Bosses, and the Turkey Toilet of 22. In a span of 10 waves, it got 10 million more, I mean, the Frost Skeleton Toilet had like 13.2 million, this has 22.7. That is like a huge, huge increase, and that is not even a lie. He literally got 10 million more HP. He, he is greedy with his HP, not gonna lie. But yeah, we are going to get a ton of money from all these giant blind toilets, and all of them are also about to die. Giant Turkey is just hanging in there, you know, he's just chilling. He was doing his spin attack, which for some reason... Doesn't even show up. I mean, the event isn't even in use, so I don't, I don't think it, it'll even show or even stun the units. But his animation still happens, so I guess that's an advantage. But all right, there's two torts left. We got quad rocket mutants here, and then we'll all be focused on the turkey man. One K. It's all on the turkey boss. That's one million in three seconds. So basically every three seconds, we are getting a million down. Like this, this is wild. It's already at half HP almost. Yeah, it, it is getting insanely, insanely, drastically, miserably. Every word for insane. All right. 2 mil here. He is at 5%. 1 million. 500, 400, 300. And he is dead. There we are. Easy dubs. And we are actually re reaching our placement limit here. You know, I still got old oh guy to max out. And I almost got me too. We have two frost skeleton toilets here. You know, they, they have a lot less HP than the turkey toads, but they're still packing a total of 40 million HP. You know, we are almost on wave 73 here. 
Got Frost, Skeleton Troll just leading the way. You know, they are actually getting pretty, pretty far now, I will admit. But we don't, don't have nearly as much of our stuff. Okay, well, this first one is dead. This one has just been getting, like, frozen. Because it's literally a Frost Skeleton Troll. It's just been sitting here. I also like wherever your camera is, it's... I just follow you. That's also kind of weird, not going to lie. Okay, these are actually getting very far. Now, I know the skeleton toilets leave a unit stunned, and it, and it can't even get repaired, but... We used to say, they are going pretty far. And they are actually making it at this track, which no other tool has done, so... Yeah, we still got... Seven ways to 80, and we got our first toilets actually uh, going ahead and getting past a lot of our units here. Quite surprising. I'm going to skip just to upgrade this so I can get a little bit more damage on this guy. I'm going to place a green laser. I don't actually have to sell my Santa, but yeah. Just going to get a green laser here just to uh, slow all this. Okay, this is actually looking a little bit bad. Got we got one skeleton to our 1.5 milli. Okay, first one's dead. All right, so I have one million. I'm just gonna sell this and replace it here. Come on, it's at 400k, 300k. This is bad. I'm gonna sell this. It's at. 50k? Okay, we died. We was just about to win on 73. That, that was a huge rip. Yeah, we, we got very far with that loadout. Now, that was my first time using it. We could maybe make some uh, better decisions, like maybe, maybe getting more sinister TVs, possibly. Maybe focusing a little bit more on the old godlies, which I did only have three sinister TVs and like... Six old godlies just to uh, put out there, but yeah, we actually did almost make it onto the leaderboards. We was seven away, actually eight away since we would have to beat the uh, boss level. But yeah, we got very far with uh, this this strat. You know, maybe maybe you have to try this with, for example, present man. You know, there. There's a lot of combinations you could uh, use here, and this combination actually worked out pretty good. You know, you may, you may have to test out, like, what the perfect amount of each unit is, but, yeah, I would, I would say this was a good strat and a uh, very good attempt on our hands. But, uh, yeah, that will be it for today, today's video. We got very close to leaderboard, making it seven or eight waves if you count the boss level from from uh, the uh, top 100 but yeah if you guys have the units you can try this out for yourself and uh yeah you can you can see if it is good or not i, I would definitely try this out maybe try a little bit different how i did it because i obviously died you know maybe maybe if i saw my sansa i could upgrade the Sinister TV and we would have won, but I know without without all of our Santas and a Sinister TV, we was going to die anyway from the wave that I did skip. But yeah, that uh, will be it for today. today's video, boys. See ya.